Hey guys, what is going on? The Gaming Rehab here. In this video, I'm showing you how to install and create and just use a bucket server. So, what you want to do is go in the link in the description of this video, and this is for 1.8 in the whole range. And if you if it does happen to say 1.9 or 1.10, it's because I updated it because I realized that it's still the same either way and it does not change the actual installation process. So then I just update it because it doesn't affect anything. Um, but if not, otherwise that's alright as well. So what you want to do is go to the uh, Yives Mirror, which is a pretty trusted website as well, even though it's not the official one, and just go, um, let's just download the 1.8.8 version, and just download, and it's pretty much instant. And when that is done, just drag that onto your de desktop. You want to make a new folder. you got to go to it, and rename it to Bucket Server. And that is as simple as it is. So that is the right spelling, but just in case I want to make that a lowercase b. Anyway, so what I want to do is drag that in there, open this folder up, and rename this to Craft Bucket. Guys, the next step is to open up your word processor, um, preferably text edit because then you can follow my exact orders. And I don't need that, whatever that is. Alright, so what you want to do now is you want to go into the link in the, in the description and, uh, and just copy this entire thing, the link that'll, the, the code that'll look like what you want to copy. So it, it'll look just like this. And really, I'll explain this for a minute, because this pretty much uh, determines how much RAM you'll allocate to your server. So if you do 1024, that is 1 gigabyte of RAM. And you don't want to put... Um, I would say you don't want to put over around 40% of your computer's uh, memory onto it. I mean, it's really up to you, but say if you have 4 gigs of RAM and you do put 4 gigs of RAM into the server, it literally, your com everything else in your computer will just be incooperative. It won't work. So, um, and just to, f just to have enough space to do everything, I'm just going to keep it like this. 1 gig of RAM and the server will, will run fine. But uh, for your information, to times it, because you have to put the right numbers, what you want to do is just, if you want to put two gigs in, you just do 1024 times 2, which is 2048, then times 3, then times 4 if you want 4 gigs of RAM. Alright guys, now what you're going to do is go to this file, and do File, Save, and you want to go down to Rich Text Form, and go down from there to Plain Text, and you want to name it, Start dot command save it to your desktop and then just drag that right into there all right so well, let's put this server to life so what you want to do is just right click uh, sorry left click on start dot command just open it up and yeah don't want to restore windows and what it should do is open up just on server log in the um, in the uh, terminal I was going to say command prompt Hey guys, sorry about that. So a little error which I made is you need to make the command, to make it a small c. It doesn't matter at all about the first bit. You just need to, need to make the last command all lowercase. So any, any, anyway, guys. So most of you probably don't have this problem, but when you double click it, it's some. For me, it used to say I didn't have access. I didn't have privileges. So what you want to do, just a quick fix for that, is go to ter terminal. And I'll, if you want, I'll put this in the description as well, or you can just watch it now. And just type chmod space a plus x, then drag start dot command in there, and press enter. That's all you need to do, because that's a quick fix to a big problem which people have. So now let's double click on start dot command, and as you see, it is auto generating all the folders which are necessary to run a successful server. I mean, like, not even a successful, just a, a server that works at all. So I'll just run through these, run through these really quickly. So the only ones which you can actually, which affect you, you know, are uh, server properties. And for some reason, it doesn't really, doesn't look that developed yet. Ah, yes. So I, I just should have read that. But what you need to go do is go into the eula.txt. And just do, make that true. You just need to literally agree to their to their things. 
So now it will work. It's loading libraries. Please wait. Dot dot dot. And it is making all the folders which are necessary to actually like have a legitimate world now. Alright guys, so the server is now done. You've done everything you need to do. Now you can just go and type stop if you want to stop it. But this is all I'll make in this video. But if you guys do want, I'll make a video showing you guys how to port forward or how to just make a Hamachi server so you can just play with your friends easily. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. I hope you know how to make a bucket server now. And I'll see you next time on the Gaming Rehab.